What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another YouTube video. I'm Jason Pickett, welcome to A Call to Digital, and this is what's in my tech bag. We're gonna be taking a look at the bag that I typically take with me on my video shoots, photo shoots, and on a pretty much daily basis. This is the bag that I choose to carry. It is the Low Pro Fast Pack BP 250AW2. So that's that. This is the backpack. It is super big, uh, thick. It's a thicky. But I love it. It has room for all the stuff that I choose to carry. It has a side pocket for my 15 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, this is super, super convenient when it's on your back. Um, you can actually open this up without having to take the entire backpack off, slide out your MacBook uh, or laptop and uh, use it if you need to use it. Uh, the other thing I like about this bag and one of the other main reasons why I got the bag is that it does have um, this sort of bottom storage container for all of my camera gear. So it holds my GH4, holds all of my lenses, um, pretty much anything else that I need to take on a shoot with me goes in there. And then up top, you have two big pockets, boom, boom. Uh, they're pretty depthy. And uh, in there I hold a bunch of different stuff which we're gonna take a look at. And I've got this giant carabiner on the top because why not? Um, so that's that. Again, this is the Low Pro Fast Pack BP250 AW2. Got it off of Amazon. It is currently $75, link below. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's take a look at what I carry in this bag and uh, I hope you enjoy. First up, if we're going down the line of pockets on the bag, starting from the front, uh, in the smallest pocket on the top, I keep these Audio-Technica headphones. Uh, they fold up nice and tight, super long cord, uh, and uh, yeah. I love them. In that same pocket, I'm carrying a Boombotix Boombot Pro Bluetooth speaker. Uh, this is just a speaker that I have in there right now. But I love this little speaker. It has a little clip on the back so you can clip it onto like your waist. And then uh, it also gives good sound for the camera mic so that I can sync everything up when I am editing. So that's that Boombotix Boombot Pro. Super nice, long battery life. Link down below. Moving on up, uh, in the next pocket, I keep this Amazon Basics uh, cable management, uh, whatever you want to call this, tech bag type of deal. Um, so I love this thing. Again, I got it off of Amazon, Amazon Basics, super cheap. Um, and I basically carry everything in here. So I have my external hard drives in here, um, any sort of dongles that I need for my MacBook, which is a ton. Um, and anything like that. So that all goes in here. It's like hard on the outside. And uh, yeah, keeps everything tidy, keeps everything where I need it. And this fits perfectly in that top pocket of the bag. Next up in that pocket as well is going to be this Pelican uh, SD card case. Um, so this holds micro SD as well as uh, not micro SD. Uh, but it's hard on the outside, Pelican case, so it's like water resistant. And uh, yeah, I, I like this a lot. Um, keeps everything safe and tidy, and it fits perfectly in my bag. So that's it for that pocket. As far as what I keep inside of this, we're gonna cut some close-ups of those products. First off to talk about is these G Drive hard drives, external hard drives um, that I use. They are one terabyte. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive. They last a really long time. So that's the first thing that I keep in that Amazon Basics bag. Other than that, I just throw any odds and ends things in here. If I have any of those iPhone X or iPhone 8 dongles, I'll throw them in there. Or headphones, if I keep a small pair of headphones with me, anything like that is gonna go in this Amazon Basics bag. So that covers all of the techy stuff, so to speak, that's in my bag that I use for my computer and everything like that. Uh, let's head down to the camera department and uh, we'll see what we got in there. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the first lens that I use 
Uh, this is the lens that I use most often on most of my shoots. It is the uh, Olympus M Zuko 9 to 18 millimeter, uh, f4 to 5.6. I like this lens a lot. It's super, super tiny, and then it extends up when you want to use it, and then you can cycle through uh, those focal lengths. Uh, but this is the first lens that I use. It's super, super wide, um, not super good in low light. In fact, it's awful in low light, but it gets the job done. And this is my main workhorse lens uh, that I use. Next up is the microphone that I use when I'm filming, and that is the Rode Video Micro. Um, it's a very inexpensive mic. It's a very cheap mic, but it gets the job done. Very compact, fits in my bag perfectly, and uh, it's worked well so far. Finally, the workhorse of my bag, the workhorse of my life is the Lumix GH4. Uh, I absolutely love this camera. I love the workflow of the camera itself. I love the uh, variability of the, the LCD screen. Um, it's a great camera. Other than that, there's just some odds and ends things that I'll keep in my bag from here to there. Extra batteries, chargers, uh, odds and ends cables, things like that. And uh, the only other thing that I'll throw in there every once in a while is my Joby Gorillapod. Um, if I'm vlogging or if I'm gonna be using it to hold up an external light source, I will have that in my bag as well. I throw it in the water bottle pocket. So that's what's in my bag. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comment section below. All of the links to everything that I carry is gonna be in the description. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to my page. I'm gonna be posting videos on a weekly basis, if not more. So stay tuned for more videos. I hope you enjoy, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.